Hey guys, I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant today, okay? Um, <laughs> I have spent the last couple of hours trying to calm myself down so that I could produce this video that would be calm. I can't guarantee I will stay calm, but right now I'm calm. Um, so I've been speaking with a, a, a gal friend of mine for about the last month. Last week she tells me she went to the doctor and got a bad diagnosis um, about her liver. And so I'm like, okay, well, you know, she was, she was really excited about what I was doing because she knew my story. She knew that I had beaten stage 3 B melanoma cancer naturally with no drugs, no radiation. She knew what I was doing um, with my, you know, my whole food nutrition and supplements. Um, and how effective they were and she was all excited about this um, when I talked to her last week and she was ready to get started and she says well I have to run this by my doctor first and I knew at that point well I didn't really know at that point I suspected at that point that that was going to be the last that I heard about that um, and sure enough she told me today that her doctor um, said to keep doing what she's doing and not to add anything new. Well, <laughs> what she's currently doing um, are some products that have synthetic materials in them, synthetic vitamins and minerals, and artificial sweeteners, which are not good for you. And, you know, they go through the liver. <laughs> it's not going to heal her liver. And it just frustrates me because, listen, I'm not, I'm not bad-mouthing doctors here, okay? There is a time and a place for doctors. But if I had listened to my doctors, I would either be very sick right now or dead. The first set of doctors I saw wanted me on a drug called IP, or no, interferon, which makes people as, I mean, makes you as sick as chemo. And most people die because they don't finish the treatment. Um... And then they die of, you know, the cancer. Second set of doctors wanted me on a drug called ipilimumab, which is a synthetic immune-boosting drug. Which made no sense to me, because my immune system was already strong. So why would I add something synthetic to it when I already had an, a strong immune system? I had no cancer anywhere on my skin. It went into a lymph node in my right armpit, blew up to the size of a golf ball, they removed it and my body had killed 90% of the lymph nodes. So obviously my body had done what it was supposed to do. And this is what I try to tell people. Changing my lifestyle five and a half years ago led to my body being able to fight the cancer because cancer is not the problem. And that's not what this video is supposed to be about. So I'm going to get away from that. My, my rant is about doctors. Okay, doctors are not required to take nutrition in medical school. They only take one semester of nutrition about vitamins. Okay, they don't know about food. They don't know about how it can heal the body, about staying away from synthetic processed foods, which we spend 90 cents of every dollar on. Well, some of us, I don't. Um, you guys, just go look in your med medicine cabinet. How many prescriptions are you on right now? How many prescriptions are your parents on or your grandparents on right now? Because that is what doctors know how to do. They prescribe. They give you a medicine. You come in and you tell them you have an ache or you have an, a discomfort or you have, you're feeling a certain way or whatever. Well, they give you a pill. And then you have a reaction to that pill. So they give you another pill to counter the, the, the reaction to that pill, right? Well. 70% of people in this country are on at least one prescription medication. 50% are on two prescriptions or more. And 20% of people are on five, five prescriptions or more. 20% of this country, we are 5% of the population, yet we use more than 80% of the world's prescription drugs. Think about that for a minute. Our healthcare system, we rank what is it, 37th in the world in our healthcare system, and dead last among the top 17 industrialized countries in the world. That's sad. 
I mean, that is just wrong. Now, again, let me get back to, I, I'm not bad-mouthing doctors. Doctors don't know. They're not taught about nutrition. So they don't know, which means they practice medicine. So if you don't advocate for yourself, they're not going to. They're going to prescribe medicine to you that is synthetic and will hurt you. Okay? It only masks the symptoms. It does not cure anything. So if you don't do the research, if you don't take care of yourself and your family and advocate for yourself and your family, they're not going to. They're going to do what they were taught. Now, I said earlier, there's a time and a place for doctors. If you're ever in an accident, this is the country you want to be in because our trauma care is the best in the world. But our health care sucks. And it's proven day in and day out, every day. I hear stories about somebody new with migraines, Crohn's, Alzheimer's. I mean, I can't tell you how many people that I have come across lately whose parents are in the early stages of dementia or Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is going to bankrupt this country if we don't do something. And I can tell you right now, medicine's not going to solve it. It just won't. There are things out there that can actually reverse the symptoms of Alzheimer's. And I can tell you what they are, or at least one of them. I mean, <laughs> you want to know about it, you let me know. Just comment below, and I will be happy to email you. Leave your email address, and I'll email you. Leave your phone number, whatever you want, however you want me to contact you. Leave a comment below, and I'll get a hold of you. But I only want serious people who really actually want to know how to heal their body, how to help themselves and their loved ones. Because if all you're going to do is say, you know, yeah, I want to know, yeah, I want to know, and then go, oh, i got to run it by my doctor first. Well, I don't want to hear from you. I really don't. Because you're not open to hearing about a solution. You're going to go to your doctor, your doctor's going to poo-poo it, and then you're going to go, yeah, I can't do that because my doctor said no. Well, doctors, again, only practice medicine. If you aren't out there doing your own research and advocating for yourself, you are doing yourself and your family a huge disservice because you will never, you'll never heal because modern medicine in this country is not going to cure anybody. And that's what I've come to learn over the last three and a half years. And it makes me sad. It makes me very sad because I know I'm going to lose a lot of people. You know, I'm already over 50 and I'm going to lose a lot of people who aren't open to hearing about how to help themselves. <laughs> and I just want to help people. <laughs> and I get so frustrated because they won't listen. And I just want people to listen. <sighs> so, anyway. <laughs> See, I said I was going to get upset. <laughs> Anyway, all I'm saying is that your doctors aren't every that thing, everything in a bag of chips, okay? They don't know everything. They only know how to prescribe. They only know how to do what they're taught. And that is what they're taught. And if you really want to help yourself and you really want to help your family, then do your research. And if you want help on an easy way to to heal your body, heal your gut, reduce your inflammation, increase stem cell production in your body. I can help you. I really truly can. But if you're not open to it, don't comment. At any rate, have a good day.